everyone, this is Ashley Jamerson coming to you from Ashley Lambert Realty and today is Wednesday, June 2nd. I do film a lot more than I post. I have so much content that I share with specific clients. I preview homes, preview neighborhoods, preview lots. And sometimes when I have a lot of that going on, I can't really film my typical work with me type videos. But I do film, <laughs> you know? But um, so today being the second day of June, the second day of my reset month, which is the month of June, and the second day of summer for my daughter, it is like 1.20 and I am just now getting around to my new home checkups. Now, if I was to do this whole list, like every single stop, it would take me at least two hours and 55 minutes or 129 miles. But I'm not gonna do all of these today. I'm basically going to check out the homes that are borderline ready for the pre-drywall inspection to be ordered. So I have to go down to Bethesda Oaks, down there I am building um, a basement gains. I believe it's the gains. Um, I'm building a basement home there, so I just wanna see how far along they are. The last time I was there, I noticed a few boo-boos here and there and um, the siding and things like that. Not the siding, but the under siding, like the actual wall stuff. Um, I had to go there. So then while I'm down in Gaston County, I might as well go to Amberley. So the last time I was in Amberley, which was last Monday or Tuesday, because I try to check on all my new construction every seven to 10 days. But the last time I was there, we actually had the slab finally, um, hopefully in half of the wood package was delivered. Cause I went and I filmed it and I sent it to my clients and I was like, oh, by the way, this isn't all the wood. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we received an email later on that was like, yeah, definitely not all the wood. So I'm just going to go there to see how far framing has been. Because it has been forecasted to rain today and the bottom of the sky is about to fall out, I am expecting a more quiet job site, so not a lot of stuff going on. After Bethesda Oaks, I was going to go down to Chateau Enclave by Lennar, but I have to be at Ridgewater, which is right around the corner. I have to be there tomorrow to stand in my client's space for their new home orientation at Ridgewater. So while I'm there, I will check on Enclave tomorrow. So that might be my only thing. I really do need to go to Preston Park though. So I might do... Um, Lennar Bethesda Oaks, Madamie's, I mean not Madamie, but Meritage Homes. I'll swing back up here to Madamie by Cheney on my way home, but I do need to go lay eyes on Preston Park. So that will take me around 485. It sort of makes no point to just skip Lennar though. So I might do Lennar anyway and just focus on Ridgewater tomorrow because it's going to be ugly tomorrow. Um, I just put a home under contract yesterday, my third house under contract in Veronica Springs out in Monroe. I have four listings hitting the market um, this month, which is sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of stressful because back in the day you would get a listing and you would do all this pre-marketing stuff. You would even schedule like an open house to get as many buyers in as possible. Nowadays, it's like a different approach. It's just as much work. It's just working in a different way, if that makes any sense. So basically when I put four homes under contract within one week of each other, that is four times about 25 showings times about 10 contracts or 10 offers that we have to go through each. That's minimum. I've, I've had like 22 on a house before. Um, I have to sell the furniture in one of my listings or help my client sell the furniture in one of the listings and lining up two of those with homes that they're buying. So my clients are buying or building a new home um, and they have to line up their closing with the sale of their current home. So that's a little bit stressful. Um, yeah. I really need to go down to Preston Park because 
I need to make sure that we're on track there. We've already had our pre-drywall inspections at Preston Park for both of those, but I just want to see how it's looking. I could technically do that tomorrow. Okay, so let's get this, my life straightened out. So today, what I will do is I will do, for sure, Chaney, like Bethesda Oaks, Amberly for sure, um, and then tomorrow I will do Chateau Enclave, Ridgewater, Preston Park, Veronica Springs, and I need to make a phone call about my Concord house. So one of my clients won a bidding war with Dr. Horton. Um, they got the model up there at Roberta Ridge. So I'm super excited about that. And that is closing this month. So I need to see if they have finished converting the garage into, oh, sorry, converting the office into a garage. So yeah. And then I need to get home and cook dinner. Um, my daughter and I this morning, because it's summer, we're, I'm really trying to keep her you know, doing stuff. So she's still doing Kumon. Her and my son are both doing Kumon. But yesterday we started working on our junk journals. We're making those. We have one page done of the junk journal. We made four bookmarks. And I told her that we had to make bookmarks for our library visit. So we went to the library first thing this morning. Then we went to the farmer's market, which hence the dinner. I found me some green tomatoes. I'm not gonna fry them, I'm going to roast them because I'm just trying to like get snatched for summer. <laughs> I try to make sure that I um, maintain my weight and don't go crazy this summer. So I have to go home, cook dinner, read some books to her. I picked up three cookbooks for toddler friendly meals because my kids have suddenly become um, very, very picky eaters. So, and I picked up a couple of other books for me to read. So yeah, it's been a very productive day. I wanted to take a nap and I wanted to put everything off to tomorrow, but what can be done today shall not be put off to tomorrow. So let me just get life done. It's not going to take me too, too long. It takes me 25 minutes to get to Gastonia from Huntersville. I do not have a left foot. I promise. <laughs> so I will check in with you guys when I get to Gastonia. And hopefully the clouds will be nice to me. Bye. Hey guys. So I made it to Bethesda Oaks. And of course, it started to rain, which means I had to bust out my boots. But um, when I came in here, I was sort of kind of expecting to see some electrical, some water, something. Um, the house itself looks good. It's waterproof as can be. So the windows have been delivered, which is a huge plus. Um, the back deck. So any builder, I don't say any builder, most builders who build basement homes, they do not have stairs to the main floor. So luckily I have a guy that will put some stairs on here for them, but their yard is so nice. I mean, you can sort of see it in the background there. But the only electrical that's been installed so far is the electricity for the, um, this is for the starter for the, um, the fireplace. And that's it. So I'm gonna check on this house. There's not a ton to check. Um, the last time I was here, I noticed that there were some holes and some sunlight coming through on some of the areas and I know that's going to pop up on the inspection report um, so I just you know I just want to have like a visual of what that looks like let me cut that well unless I'm going to curve it that's going to be a tight curve right there I don't know how that's going to I wonder if that more than likely they're going to fix that. But again, just some video evidence because that looks like that'll be a tight. And I don't like hot and cold areas. So they should line up fairly well throughout the home. Yeah, um, there are some times when I'm showing property and let's say it's completed, it's an existing home. And they'll say, hey, Ashley, I want to take this wall down because I want to you know, attach a room or expand a room or I don't like the archways. That's not always possible. If you look at this right here, let's say you wanted to take this down, 
after you close, you can't. That's pretty load bearing right there. We have this eye joist that is resting on that. And then we have these from the second floor resting on it as well. So you can't just come up in a place and start, you know, changing things around because the guts, the bones of the house are made a certain way to hold the weight of the house. Now, if you paid for um, a structural engineer or something like that, then of course, you know, money can do anything, you know what I'm saying? But economically done, not so much. Um, I love this floor plan. Like, this bonus room is absolutely awesome. Like, I'm really, really like in love with this bonus room. Loft area is huge. And one other thing that I really, really like about this floor plan is that the master suite is over here. So we have the bedroom there. Hold on. Yeah, their bedroom, their closet, things like that. Hmm. This is the master bedroom. Okay, it's still separate, it's just flipped. So over here is the master bedroom and over there is the bedroom and this is like their ensuite. So there's tons of spaces that separate their space from their children or their guest space. And you see all those little gaps up there as well. Um, it's Now around the house is that plastic Tyvek sheathing, but you know, there, it has to be fixed. And the way they fix it is they take this orange stuff, that, and they fill it in. And that's just for critters and stuff. I mean, it's plastic, so you critters can't really get through plastic. But I do, I know it's gonna show up on the inspection report. But the house itself looks really, really good. Um, I don't know who came up in here writing random stuff on their beams, but I don't know. Sometimes my clients will come in and they'll write Bible verses or inspirational things, important dates to them, family names, things like that on the house. And all that should be done after the final punch from the city inspector, because you don't want that city inspector um, failing any portion of your house because um, not understanding what's going on. So there were some bowed beams here and they repaired the bow beam, sorta of, kinda, by putting the two by four there to straighten it, but it's still not 100% straight. Like this one right here, it took two beams to fix it. So it may need two beams to fix this one too. But this is not um, completely load bearing. This will not have anything in it really. That's why the beams are so far apart. These are closer together because that's like supposed to be more substantial. But yeah. So I'm gonna go check on their basement. The basement for this home is not a finished basement. Um, it's a great hobby space, great workout space. If they do wanna finish this space in the future, they definitely can quite easily because as you will see, it has been like semi framed up for a rec room. There's some plumbing down here that can be tied into. Over there will be um, the, what do you call that? The sump pump. And this bath wall, I really want it to, I love that it's raining now because I can see if this is dry or not. And the last time I was here, I was like, I hope that this is like leftover from when they were pouring it and there wasn't anything above it, but it's very airtight. And then over here is another area that I'm keeping my eyes on because it's like, why didn't that wood just, they're like two inches short and it's not really, it's barely on that corner right there. So I'm not a fan of that. So that's gonna be something that I reach out to the builder about for sure, because that corner is not the best corner ever. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five. I believe there should be a strap. I believe there should be some straps here, but I don't think that the framing punch has been done. 
one, two, three, four, and then three. There should be a strap there. I feel like there's just, it's like, it goes from two, four, and then there's five down there. They went overboard over there, and then they just sort of whipped out on me over here. So I'll definitely bring that to some people's attention. But yeah, this is what a, um, you know, a rough den, unfinished basement will look like. I'm not even sure if this will get drywall because um, that would finish it. So I'm pretty sure it's just gonna stay like this. And I would definitely think that some straps would be needed here. They even have it numbered, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. So um, I will call my client, see if they have any questions about their house. And then I'm gonna head up to Amberly because really interested to see if we have some house skeletons up there. House skeleton may not be the right word. You know, some bones, something. But this is looking really, really good. Very solid. I didn't hear any creaks. Windows are in. But I'm pretty sure they're going to crack some. That's been a common thing across my new builds lately is, hey, Ashley, I went to the house. There's four cracked windows. I'm like, okay. So, yeah, they had to pour this in. It's not done yet. But nice wet day here. They are pouring cement in the rain. How? How? That's new. That's new. Okay, well, let me hop over and get to Amberly. Hey guys, so it stopped raining long enough for me to check on my lot 48 out here at Amberly, which is a Meritage neighborhood. Um, I honestly thought that I was going to see something other than this. Like, they have a whole house. This is the situation. And it's like, what are they doing? So, um, this particular lot, we had some issues with the soil test. And so, they had to get that done. This corner was a little bit too high. It can only go up like two and a half, three feet. And it exceeded that by like nine or ten inches so they had to get like another person out here to sign off on the um construction of it and i feel like we've been at slab now for like two weeks so today's update from my client was not a happy one because i really honestly thought like when i pulled up i thought that this was their house i was like oh yes awesome sauce we're getting some stuff done but um no we're still at slab and they're missing some trusses to their house. I think they're over here in the pile. I have no idea what's going on, but um, I know there's rain in the forecast. Obviously today there's rain in the forecast tomorrow. Um, all the way through Saturday, Sunday, I think we're going to have rain or spouts of rain and no one is here on site right now. No one. I mean, I can't expect them to just sit in their car and dodge rain clouds, but it wasn't raining the last week and it wasn't raining earlier this week, but it was, you know, a holiday weekend. Oh my goodness. Disappointed. I know my clients are going to be disappointed too. Um, we had their pre-construction meeting and they're like, yeah, we're doing all this stuff and wood was delivered and all that good stuff. I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, but they aren't scheduled to close until like August, September. And homes tend to grow really, really fast. Once this gets started, it's like nonstop. I just need it to start. So my choices today are to go ahead to Lennar Enclave or go to Cheney. And I think I'm just gonna to go to Cheney and then I'm gonna go home and then check on the other ones around the loop tomorrow. And as long as I have a rain jacket, some rain boots, and an umbrella, I should be able to check on properties tomorrow. And the rain was sort of beneficial on my last house because I could like look for areas where water was coming through. 
it was all dry, so I'm not going to let a little rain um, disrupt my, you know, my schedule, but goodness. All right, it is what it is. I've been waiting for them to respond. On my way to Cheney, continue listening to all of my Disney vlogs, and maybe I'll get some cycling in before I pick up my son from daycare. So, check in with you guys later. Okay, so I am now at Cheney, which is my third neighborhood of the day. I did call the on-site agent for my house up in, um, or down in Amberley. And I was like, what's going on guys? <laughs> Why don't we have anything on our lot? Why are we still at Slab? And basically the guy quit, <laughs> the builder did. So that was some interesting news because my clients are relocating here from out of state and um, we're super behind, like 60 days. So it's finding a game plan for them and a game plan they feel comfortable with. But either who, I'll be working on that this afternoon. I've got a spider on me. Okay, so I'm here at Cheney. This is the Mattamy neighborhood and I'm in their garage. I see plumbing is in. The water heater will go right there. Um, I look at things like this to see how it's sitting on there. I see lots of orange foam. I love orange foam. Straps, you know, I love some straps. That's part of this. Huh. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. They sent me a picture. It rained. I got a spider web on me. Oh my god. So I didn't see if that came from the rain up there. Okay. <sighs> the wrong shoes again which has been my mo this whole time so they sent me a picture of some holes and i think it's called sheathing maybe but little boot cap thing majiggies have not been added around the plumbing that sticks out of the roof plumbing Wet room. I'm gonna have to look for the holes they were talking about because I don't see them unless they've been filled already. Okay. Another bedroom. Actually, this is the master. One of the things I hear a lot recently is, I want a home with a tub. And the tub is typically an upgrade. So there's gonna be a shower here, then the tub of course. And then that's the master bedroom and the master closet. Um, little bonus area there. This is the laundry room. I wonder where it's at the hole they were talking about. I'm gonna look at the pictures. Maybe it's over here. No. Hmm. These are strike plates. And then the straps and the foam to hold it in place. something here I don't like that oh I see right there okay so I'll take pictures of that hole right there 
right so this wrapped with this Tyvek here it's wrapped but it should probably be filled so I will note that yeah let me take some pictures was that a broken truss I was hoping it was going to be time for a pre-drywall inspection, but we're still two utilities short. Hmm. Well, I have a lot to do. I'm going to make a quick video for my clients and send it to them. Um, this is another quiet home site. Window is broken. It's this window here. So hopefully. It doesn't get too wet. It's gonna be wet though, because the storm is coming. There's another hole there. Yeah, I feel like they're, Lord, if there's a spider on me, I will freak out. video from the client. That's crooked as heck. ugly piece of wood.
Not sure what that is. Doesn't look too great, but it's two different levels, so. Good place. 